All right, what's up, guys? We back with with another episode of Pokemon Empire. I think this is episode ten now. Uh, quick recap: last episode, we visited the Origin Weather Station. Origin, yeah, the Origin Weather Station with Cheyenne. Found out she's nobility somehow, kind of connected to my my sword. Something about regalias. I'm giving you a recap in bullet points. Then we go to um, did the gym battle. Took three tries, uh, cause fucked up the first try, second try, I don't know what happened, third try was easy. And then right at the end of that, uh, Demetrius got like, some guy ran up to him and said something's going on with Cheyenne in the ignoble fields east of Atria. Think so? So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm ready to get started, but I hatched the egg. Yeah, my team is. I need to be able to heal first. Oh, yeah. I was going to do some things offline, but I was moving around and a cutscene happened. So I decided to just fuck all that. I'll wait until I record and then, you know. But the egg was a Sableye. But they changed the typing of Sableye from Ghost and Dark to, uh, I think it's what? Ghost and Rock? That shit is ass. That is terrible typing. Yeah. Oh, my kind of ruined him. Actually, it's not that bad of typing. Now that I actually think about it, it's not horrible, but it's not that good. Anyways, let's get it. Let's get moving. All right, who do I want? I mean, Lampin's good where he's at. Like, my big hitters are dead. Oh, yeah. Uh, I taught Detardarius to smack down. Did I give Pikachu anything? Uh, no. I think he's... Oh, I gave him uh, something, too. I can't remember. Submission. Anyways, yeah, let's go. The Egg Noble Fields. Wait, where is that map I had? That map was amazing. Hold on. All right, we're back. Let's hit the Atria, I guess. Fuck, okay, I was about to say, where's the cutscene? Hear a strange voice in your head, ash to ash and dust to dust. The choice was rash, the end was just. You feel dizzy. I need to get some water. Another flashback. But this is recent. Very recent. This everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, the files look to be in order, and all the data we're leaving behind is good and accurate. Oh, and the weather devices. As you instructed, sir. Good, and I trust everything else has been encrypted and sent through the proper channels. To the best of my knowledge, sir. To the best of your knowledge isn't what we're looking for. This project has gone sideways enough already. We cannot afford another misstep. The testing aroused too much suspicion already. Anything more could tip the scales into a PR disaster and threaten to undo everything we've been striving toward. What is my guy, a clairvoyant? Is that why he see he's seeing all this bullshit? <laughs> Uh, sorry, sir. <clears throat> Something you need to say. Uh, sir. Sorry to mind you, but there's still the one loose end regarding the, uh, infiltrator. Yes, according to all of your reports, the lovely Cheyenne Morris. Is that why they attacked her? Did they not remember it was me, too? Funny. Sometimes that which causes your undoing can, can si simultaneously serve as your salvation. Damn, I don't know. It only happens... For Pokemon games, I promise you. I don't know what's going on. Sir, considering this young woman was single-handedly able to reduce you all you lot to the to a puddle of drooling gawkers and somehow compromise our breach. What is going on? Somehow compromise or breach multiple electronic devices, including the damn security cameras. Well, there's only one conclusion I can reach. But no matter... She's to be left unharmed, and that order came from the top. Oh, good job, good job, good job, good job. I'll about to say, we're not a bunch of royal psycho, royal sociopaths running for around framing and killing people. Anyways, we need to get to the train. Like I said, we can't afford another setback. Uh, hey, excuse me, are you okay? Do you need? Wait a minute. I recognize you. You were the, in the origin station at the top of the stairs. 
What are you doing out here? And and goodness, what is this awful smell? What is that awful smell? Oh goodness, mister, it's coming from you. It smells like it smells like those awful Taurus home ones. Oh, what happened? Cheyenne, what are you doing? Why would you be invested? Like, move back. Oh, <laughs> uh, what happened? You must be covered in them. Here, come on. I'm headed into town. Let's get you some help. Uh -huh. Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, she she did. Mm. God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. God damn, bro. You did her like that? Excuse me, miss. You dropped this note. And don't worry about your earrings. They'll be in good hands. Hey, if she did. Hey. Whoa, hold on. Take it easy a second. Jesus, I thought you were dead. Especially with what just happened over in the ignoble fields. Are you alright? Uh, wait. Were you just over there? How do you already know what happened? Uh, okay. Well, if you're feeling okay, you need to go tell Demetrius if you know something. Poor guy's besides himself right now. Like, is she confirmed dead? Wait, where's the music? That guy has, like, a level 36 mud still. That shit is AIDS. Why did this guy chase me? Walked into town this morning and heard about some blue-haired saint from every man, woman, and child. From all the stories they were telling, you've done an awful lot for us in an awful short amount of time. So your group is trying to patch up the general store. Well, I'll make sure everyone in, t in town's putting their money where their mouth is. I haven't seen folks looking this chipper in a blue moon. We'd all be happy as a grump pig and shit to donate to, to a cause led by such a good person such as yourself. I say this will score double for your commission with Major Myers. Well, golly, I hope this council's league keeps churning out folks like you. If so, our world's going to end up a much better place tomorrow than it is today. Thanks for giving an old grump like me some hope. It's a refreshing thing these days. Hello? Does that mean I uh, hit all the points? Like, did all the side quests or have enough points to where I can get the egg? I think I get the egg now. Fuck, man. Just send it to my PC. There's a mystery egg. Alright, they said it complements your starter Pokemon, so we'll see. Oh fuck, I didn't get the heal step up because I put him in the box. Oh, it's a Pokeball egg. Fuck. I don't I really can't guess. Yeah, step is still dead. Damn, so they can say it, huh? I mean, bro. Yeah, wasn't I supposed to meet her here? Like, what was she doing? Like, dumbass. Wait. Maybe the store got updated. Oh, it did. Soothe Bell? I mean, we could buy one of those or whatever. The rest of that shit is kind of useless. Damn, where'd she die again? They said ignoble fields. Damn, she dead? <laughs> for real, for real. What's up, Demetrius? Sir, we should get her out of here already. Wait, we should get her out of here. We already recovered the other body. And we'll need a full team to go and corral all these Tauros. I need a few moments. Alone. Sir. Like, bitch, move. He said he needs a few moments alone. 
Yes, sir. All right, folks, come on now. Let's all get back home. Give the man some space. Damn, she really did, huh? I mean, that's tough. I thought he said he wanted a few, a few moments alone with the body. He always said she needs to be protected. She needs to be protected. And I never knew from what. Uh, damn it, Elias. I failed us. Again. Gone. They're all gone. My wife, my daughter, my best friend, and now his daughter. Damn it, Elias. Why do you make me swear to protect her? I was never half the father, half the husband that you were. You. Don't go blaming me. I never should have. Hmm. I sheltered Cheyenne. I was overprotective. I guess I didn't know any better. I swear though, it was that pull. Whenever I was around her, I felt this, this love for her. Like I had to protect her no matter the cost. Like a second chance at having a daughter. But now I'm asking myself, why didn't I shelter her from- You're blaming me! Okay, this man is retarded. <laughs> He's blaming me. That's crazy. You, the only one of those league challengers to go above and beyond my commission. The only one to actually defeat me. And the only one Cheyenne was spending meaningful time with lately. Ugh, but how can I blame you? Uh, damn right, how can you blame me? It's my own damn fault. I don't know if it's your fault, but you can't blame me. I should have let her experience the world instead of trying to protect her from me. Okay, if you did that, then yeah, you have fault a little bit. I could even blame Elias for saying to protect her, but I should have known. You can't protect people from the world, you can only protect them in the world. I thought I learned that after my daughter. That experience is the best teacher and having someone there to guide you through those experiences, that's who I should have been. But I guess you knew that better than anyone, DMC. Well, I guess that brings us to now. In honor of our new council's rightful procedure clause, I'll first tell you what I know, then you can respond. When we found her, Hmm. I... I'm sorry. <clears throat> when she was found, Mr. Wallace, the barkeep of the saloon, or salon... Saloon? Salon? No, that's saloon. Said Cheyenne had stopped by to leave her bag with him. It appears she was intending to leave the province. I know that already. And on her person, she was carrying a book and had a love letter in her pocket. Wait, love letter? Not for me. To me? Maybe. I recognize the signature at the bottom of the letter. It's from the head researcher that was here a few years ago when Origin first installed their weather devices. Isn't that the, the zombie person who distracted her and made her get run over by the Tauros because he's down there being mind controlled by whoever won in the teleporter? Looks like Cheyenne was planning to Oh, that- no, that letter's fake. It was planted. I'm an idiot. Wow. That letter is fake. No, she wasn't. Wait! I'm the fucking, um, I'm the anomaly. They don't know about me. Cause they said she infiltrated the facility by herself. No, she f infiltrated that place with me. How'd they even know it was her, but whatever. Um, actually no, probably from, um, from the people's testimonies who had their mind like, fadaggled, let's say that. But, so I'm the anomaly. I know what her true plans were. So obviously this was a, uh, like an orchestrated, uh, killing. She was not planning to run off with no fucking researcher. <laughs> Guessing that's why she's been so obsessed with the origin since they've been back here again. Even dragging you into whatever you two were doing out there by, out by their facility out here. Bro, so if you know I was at the facility, what are you talking there, man? Nobody missing from her person or her earrings. She wouldn't have left those behind, but we haven't found them. It's possible they were taken or even destroyed, but that remains to be seen. Okay, bro, the evidence is not adding up, Demetrius. You should know this is orchestrated. As for the accident, we had witnesses report the last of Origins people coming through here, but they would have departed well before the time this happened. Other than that, we have no witnesses. Wait, now I'm confused. So that guy was acting on his own. Who is that guy? Because, uh, what's his name? Damn, what is his name? Rich, Rick, Rick, whatever that guy's name is, Rick. That guy said he got orders not to do anything about her, leave her unharmed. And it seemed like that guy had a device that was origin, like of origin, origin. So either he's working with them or obtained it somehow, or he's higher, he's like, he's high in the rankings and went rogue basically. 
All we know so far is that the origin researcher Shiona so apparently running off with had been waiting here for a short time before Cheyenne herself arrived. My bad, uh, something was on my hand. He also didn't make it. Could still smell the hor hormones on him. One of the tourists must have really done a number on him for him to still smell like that by the time I got here. No, they had that. She. Cheyenne's an idiot. There's going to be hell to pay if those belong to someone's ranch. Hmm. Now, what do you know about what happened? All right, bro. I'll tell you what happened. Oh, shit. Decision making? Should I even tell him? Why would I say it was me? Hell no. I'll claim a body I actually did. It's not no damn accident. It's not origin either. What? You think this was a setup? I'm gonna tell him. So you're saying some other blue haired young showed up out of nowhere, released a whole herd of Hotoros, killed Cheyenne along with an innocent bystander, planned this love letter, stole Cheyenne's earrings, and then vanished in. Bro, why'd you phrase it like that? Like, my guy's not gonna tell him what happened? Cheyenne was planning to go on a journey with me. She wasn't planning to re uh, meet no researcher. We infiltrated the lab. Oh my. Tell her, tell her, whatever. Fuck. I don't care about Demetrius. Never mind. I don't know what the hell you think you're talking about, but I could have have you arrested just for saying something that downright crazy. You're a dumbass. Fuck out of here. And even even if that innocent that bystander wasn't so innocent, why would anyone go through all that trouble just to steal a pair of earrings? I sense there's something here you ain't telling me. But maybe you can you maybe you can explain this to me. Chan was carrying this book, some kind of history book, but written like children's stories. She had a few hastily written notes scrawled in it. Most of it's illegible, or just looks like nonsense to me, but one word there underlined. You see it? Hawthorne. I gather that means something. I don't remember. I, I saw it was Regalia. What the fuck's Hawthorne? <laughs> Good lord, seems like we're both tied to that family somehow. Hmm. I guess you're familiar with the youngest daughter, Elena. So what am I missing here? What does this mean? Bitch, you just said you'd have me arrested for saying something crazy, but now you want my information? I gave you my information. What does this have to do with Cheyenne? Damn it, Team C. North and the Hawthorns all be damned. You were supposed to keep your head down and nose clear here. Who? Who? I didn't read. Was that Demetrius who said that? But there's some kind of awful secret you're hiding from me. And if I didn't have my eyes on you when this goddamn tragedy happened, I'd have half of my suspect you were involved in it somehow. You're a dumbass. I told you what I know. I should have never told you. Normally, I play the anti-hero role, but I was trying to be a little bit nice to you, Demetrius. But you don't believe me. You a bitch. <laughs> Cheyenne. Hmm. All right, here's what's going to happen. I thank you kindly for all you've contributed to the town, but I'm afraid we're no longer square. If you really don't know what happened here, then you owe it to me and to Cheyenne to find out. Bitch, I told you what happened. What do you mean if I don't know what happened? I told you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> now, I reckon you have information you're withholding. I can only hope whatever it is you ain't telling me is for the long-term good here. But this note said Hawthorne, and I believed it said it for a reason. So you best track them Hawthorns down and find whatever Cheyenne was looking for. I don't even remember what she's looking for. You best believe I'll be doing the same. I know Dr. Hawthorne better than just about anyone, so I understand how... So understand, I will be following up with you on about this. And with Heinrich, Lord knows what, what he might be responsible for. I shudder to think he didn't do this. And I need to take care of the proceedings here in town first. <sighs> you know where Elena is better than me, but Morgan Hawthorne, the council member, was in the Tallman Enclave last I heard. And of course, Dr. Hawthorne and his wife were in the SCCL, the Starlight City Corporate Labs. But since you signed up for the league, you knew that already. If I were you, I'd start with Morgan. You can uh, you can reach Elena anytime, apparently. And Dr. Hawthorne isn't hard to get a hold of either. But I'd reckon Morgan would be nay impossible to reach when she's in Starlight. If you can catch her at a little power plant in Tallman, hold up, let me write this shit down. Catch. Okay, I'm still recording. Could I have prevented her death? No shot. 
And yeah, I can uh, send someone out there so you don't miss the proceedings. I imagine those would be in a few days. Hmm. All right, we've talked long enough. I, uh, I'm not going to the funeral. I need a gym badge. <laughs> Give it a bean. Hello? Damn, she dead, huh? That's tough. Where am I going? Should I hatch that egg? Where is Elena? I don't even know where she is. I have to take the train, 100%. Alright, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, should I kill that trainer with those the Mudsdale? Wait, where is he at? Oh, that's crazy. I don't even know where that guy is at. Oh, I think he's on this side. Oh fuck. Beer back. Never mind, fuck that battle. I can't I can't kill that shit right now. My team is like I have nothing really good to kill that. No grass, no water. And it keeps getting these fucking stat boosts mid battle. Where am I going though? Serious. Toleman, okay. Yep. I knew it. Let's go. Look, okay, fuck, I'm not reading that. Maybe find one of those Amokin drivers of the Dodorio cart? Do Dodorio? Dodorito? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I know where the cart is. Well, I know the location it's around. I don't know exactly where it is. Okay. Okay, I don't remember where the card is. Actually, it might be right here. Somewhere around here. Hey. Where the fuck is the card? There it is. Yeah, let me go, bro. 800? No! I was just trying to see if he, he had another option after I said no, but it's whatever. Take the money, man. Let me take some water. Alright, here's your paperwork. Remember, we are not tour guides. Any accidents occurring in the Malton area industrial zones, that includes the power plant, relevant mining operations, or other designated strata, or in any area non not classified under the Ptolemy Zoning Law Section 3 subclass blah blah blah, are not liable for compensation from your insurer or any other third party affiliates. Signing here indicates that the Italian Grand Council Correa, whatever that is, and representative personnel are not responsible for your rescue or providing emergency medical assistance in the event of medical trauma or catastrophic personal injury. We are responsible for recovery of body and personal effects in case of such events after 72 hours of mischecking. But if the search party deems the search unwarranted due to an unnecessary personal risk, this agreement is considered void. Damn, so I'm not getting no benefits. <laughs> Now, please fill the appropriate information regarding the contacting of your next of kin. Thank you. No. Where do I finish my paperwork? Like, it's one of my, uh, my gripes about this game these people talked way too much so it just makes me want to skip the test text 
because a lot of it's unnecessary and then that causes me to miss something sometimes Yeah, I am. What do you mean help you, bro? League challenger. I need to go to a gym, not help you with your problem. God damn, man. Wait, Sangoon Serpents. And he said Calvera. Wasn't that where Rose was at? Didn't I shut them down or have a part in shutting them down? <sighs> Tellerate Mines. So I guess that's the only place I can go. Is there anything else I can do? Okay. So yeah, the only place I can go is the Tellurian Mines, is what it's looking like. Damn, I misclicked. Let me see what Pokemon are catchable here. Alright, I'm not really seeing anything, like, important. It's a good thing I, uh, talk to things quite often. going on here hold up this is information Okay. Mining kit. All right, appreciate it, bro. See, that's what I'm saying. That's good information. Is that a trample? What are you doing here? You gotta have something in here. Look, look at this. Like, bro, I am not reading all that. Damn, so he has nothing in here? What the fuck? Oh, these are houses. What the fuck? There's a Rotom. Hey, a Rotom will do good right- Yo, move. A Rotom will do me good right now. How do I get it? Electric type, it's ghost electric. It's definitely stronger than Pikachu being uh basically a Pikachu. Locked. What's down here? Okay, nurse, what the fuck is going on? Oh just looking for a battle. It'd be bad. Alright, she fucked up a few of my Pokemon because she had a Wobbuffet, but she died. 
By the way, Lampin is like a god right now, bro. Is this Pokemon Center? Okay, good, good, good. Lampin is a god. Like, he's... Oh, man. He's so useful. His moveset is actually really nice, too. Okay. What do you mean? I don't I don't understand. Alright, let's continue with my exploration. Okay, fuck it man. Like look at that. You talk so much and like there's nothing. Did something just move? Because I wasn't looking at my screen. Yeah, something is moving. Hey, yo, stop talking so I can go talk to the moving object. Oh, my God, bro. Shut up. Yes. And now I have this. Wait, so do I have to find Rotom in all of these situations? And then maybe I get it? This is definitely will be a replacement for Pikachu. Maybe all of these houses? Yeah, bro, I'm not listening to you. It doesn't look- I'm never talking to TV again. It doesn't look like there's anything moving in here. What's this way? Molten Crest. Okay, we'll check that out later. Alright, what's the only place- Yeah, I checked down there. Um... I didn't check around the Pokemon Center. There it is. No, I don't have a Seedra. Bro, what the fuck, man? Rotom, just let me catch you. Okay, so there's, like, no items in these houses. I didn't even know this guy would want to battle. Be right back. Um, I think I went to that house already. Crystal Core. Like, what does that do? I kind of want to just pause this whole, like, exploration part, explore, and then resume. Honestly, I think I am. Oh my god, I clicked on the fucking TV again. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna explore first. So, fuck. Should I just pause it right now? Yeah, I'm gonna pause it right now. Be back. Alright, I think I've explored what's possible. I never did get Rotom. I don't know where it went. I'm assuming the power plant, because I'm pretty sure we have to go to the power plant, because Morgan's there. So, let's do that first. Oh, and I got a uh, Molder, which allows me to break rocks, basically rock smash. Uh, I don't know which entrance to go to. It's a downstairs. Okay. Man, I'm not reading all that. 
I guess this guy can teach me a... What the fuck is pressure plate? Where's the move, uh, the move chart? This is in my PBS files. Oh, let me check all these. Uh, first pressure plate. Sets up a plate that drains quadruple PP from opponents attacking moves for eight turns. Oh, that's not bad. Ander snatch. For three turns, the user steals effects of Pokemon's beneficial moves such as Swords Dance, Aqua Ring, or Reflect. That's not bad. Last resort, I know what that does. Uh, echoed voice. User attacks with the echoing voice power increases every turn it's used successfully. Its base power is 40. I mean, fuck, fuck all that. Fuck this. Steel gem, not bad. Actually, yeah, it's pretty bad. Fuck a battle. Okay, by the way, I am 100%, like, by next episode, you guys are not going to see Detar Darius on my team, and potentially Little Rat if I can get Rotom. This guy is, like, he's useless right now. I think he's only going to be good when, um, like, he's good for providing poison point, but that's about it. I think he's only going to be good when I can get a Reaper Claw to evolve him, because his move pool is terrible currently, um... Flame wheel, punishment, all that shit is ass. Like, he, he never does really good damage, honestly. So, yeah, he's probably getting removed. I'm gonna, not even gonna lie. Might even replace him with Seal. Because, look, I'm looking at his levels. Like, he doesn't gain any. Maybe, okay, he gains Heat Crash. But, like, his moveset is terrible. The fuck is that? Hold on, I got lost. Okay, we're looking for Morgan. Well, Morgan, not Morgan. Okay, so that's that other entrance. Probably the right entrance, actually. It's... Uh... What the fuck? Wait, what? Elekid? Hold up. I need to check the encounter text file. What's this, the PowerPoint? Yeah. Okay. PowerPoint. Okay, so you can get an Elekid, Clink, Voltorb. A gla uh, whoa, wait, an Alolan Graveler would be pretty good for me, actually. You can get a Porygon, that's not bad. But an Electivire, but he's not gonna be able to become an Electivire, that's my fucking problem. Of course you want a battle beer. By the way, Lampin is a godsend. You can already see, he's, he's the only max level one here, like, he, hey. I don't know, he is just different. He's really carrying himself from when he was a Litwick. Okay. I need to get out of here. Oh my god. I'm gonna start using repels. Ash, we already agreed on those regulations. But director, those nego negotiations were predict predicated on unimpeded equal access. Keyword being unimpeded. Unimpeded? Unimpeded. 
I don't know what I was saying before, but it's wrong. Whatever research Mr. Cade is doing in the minds of molten areas is hampering Titan's zoning rights far more than in his origins or what? Hey, you, are you easy? Like, I'm standing in front of your face for at least two minutes, and you're just going to tell me just now I'm eavesdropping? No shit. <laughs> Bro, I need to talk to them. Wait, so... Wait, how do I get around? What's down here? An electros? TM recycle. And this game has terrible TMs, man. If I said I'll do it. Oh shit. I mean he was disrespecting me and called me a schmuck or attempted to call me a schmuck, so I need to use my repels because I cannot do this. Hello? Wait, really? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> this is trying to talk to it. A ditto. I guess. Oh my fucking god, I misclicked. I need that. It's perfect for breeding. Wait, hold up. I need to go back. This episode was a bunch of nothing. Okay, so I think I went down both. Where is this again? Oh. Of course you want to battle. This guy fucked up my Pokemon a bit. Steel gem trash. Wait, so what exactly am I supposed to do? Alright, let's try something. Okay, give me them back. So what am I supposed to do? I think we're gonna end the episode right here though. I just need to check one thing out. Then it has to be around here, right? The rock gives away and I fucking died. And I pressed it again. Like, what? Whoops.
Wow. What a worthwhile endeavor. Molten core. Molten core. Magby Houndor. That's not bad. Like what? Like bro. Like, cut that shit out, man. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, that shit's low-key pointless. So it didn't why doesn't it give away there? I forgot I got this. I guess I have to find all of those. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to end it here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Wait, maybe this is the path? No. Small eh. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Peace.